Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to make this cool transition easy and quick in After Effects. First of all let's rename our main clip to background. Then scroll to the moment where you want effect to begin and duplicate your clip, cut that layer and rename it to car only slash shatter. Now grab a roto brush tool and double click on car only layer. Roto brush the car as smooth as possible. Once you are happy with it, click on freeze button. As the freezing is done, go back to composition. Now solo car only layer and let's add shatter effect on it. Change view to rendered. Expand shape and change pattern to glass. Change repetitions to around 150. Expand force 1. Now make sure you are at the beginning of car only layer and change radius to 0. Click on radius stopwatch icon now. Scroll a few frames forward and change radius to 0.4. Expand physics now and change gravity inclination to 50. Now scroll to very end of car only layer and play around with gravity until it looks cool. If you want glass shatters to go all the way down set high values, I will set it to 30. Let's unsolo car only layer now and then duplicate it. Select bottom one and rename it to clean. Delete shatter effect on clean layer and solo clean layer now, then grab a roto brush tool and double click on clean layer. Make sure to unfreeze it and then select invert foreground slash background and then freeze it again. Once the freezing is done, go back to composition. Make sure to match the work area to clean layer's length. Then go to content aware fill tab, copy my settings and hit on generate fill layer. Wait until analyzing is done, this will remove the car from a background. Once it's finished, make sure to move fill layer below car only layer and then unsolo both layers. Now bring work area to its normal length and let's check the effect. Lastly we can add shake effect, I will skip that part cause I have already made a shake tutorials. Also I have created 16 unique shake presets that you can get from the link in description. Check how it looks like with my shake preset. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.